A former government minister, Dr. Keith Mondesi, has come under fire for a statement made during a call-in program on a local radio station. Mondesi was responding to female callers who were not in agreement with an opinion shared by him during a previous call into the program. Good afternoon, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Robert, that's me again. You yes, sir. Call back. Yeah. Robert, yeah. these party hats. Who's the party hat? Who's the party hat? The party hats are calling you there. How you know they're party hats? They are party hats. Why you say that? Why you say that? Let me tell you. Tell me. Tell them. I don't have to tell them. They're listening to you. They're listening to you. They're listening. And to shut all the holes on their body because they're making no sense. Call her, call her, call her. Let me call her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you, you, you. Human rights advocate Felicia Dujon says Dr. Mondesi's statement should be denounced by all and that such a statement has no place in political discourse. What we're seeing is basically that kind of sexist kind of behavior where Dr. Mondesi believes that women, regardless of their party, should not have a say that they, as I in quote, that they should shut all the holes in their bodies. And it, it doesn't mean only their mouths. It, it can also mean their minds. How do they think and rationalize about politics? As far as he's concerned, they shouldn't have a say in what happens in the political landscape. And I think that he owes the general public an apology because regardless of what position, as I said before, what party a woman supports or what we call the political hacks, what party they support, but they have a civic and constitutional right to speak on any issue that they believe that they should speak on. And so Dr. Mondesi or any other male in society do not have that right to try to intimidate persons, to try to use the auditory terms as a way to silence women, as a way to make them feel well, they're, they're in a space that they, you know, that they should feel uncomfortable at. So the minute you start targeting women because of the gender and asking them to shut whatever holes, it also tells us the kinds of thinking that continues to perpetuate within our society. Duja noted that the former minister's comments had overtones of prejudice against females. Women, she says, should have a voice in the political landscape regardless of their political affiliations. Making such statements could be very alarming. It could be in a case where we are actually telling women or we are telling female political advocates or political act, um, activists that they should not have a voice or that they should not express themselves um, particularly yeah, on political issues matters that concern them within society um, so we're urging particularly our male counterparts those that are politically inclined those that are part of the political machinery um, to be very careful very observant of the kinds of claims that they make and the kind of assertions that they make in the public space particularly those that target other individuals according to Dujon the former government minister should apologize publicly for his assertions for the DBS News World I am Zain Romulus